Sacramento. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. He gave him a wide open look there. Lawson kicks to Green. Here's Pekovic. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. One twenty-seven left in the first half. Johnson dishes to Ennis. And Abamute kicks to Lee. It's good. This game is all even. Lee's got four points this quarter. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark, just piling up points in the paint. Utah calls timeout. Looks like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting and uh, wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the timeout if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about it. And the Jazz with some changes. Whiteside's checked in for Nikola Pekovic. Tobias Harris comes in for Lou Aldang. And Alec Burks subbed in for Daniel Green. From deep three-point range. Was in the pass to Harris. Now, here's Burks. He's guarded by Johnson. Here's Whiteside. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. Forty-one seconds left in the first half. Here's Burks. And at last, they get one to fall. Burks has got eight points. They've owned the offensive glass here in the second. Yeah, they're really trying to make a point of getting inside of the paint and getting after every rebound. Now here's Lee. Twelve points for him. And again, it's Sacramento converting. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first, and that was pretty good. Lawson kicks to Cancer. Back to Lawson. Feeds it to Burks. No good from the wing. You know, he's so confident, sometimes to a fault, and that showed right there. That's a bad shot. Exactly. I mean, that's self-inflicted damage right there. There are a lot better options than what he took. So a tie game here as we finish the first. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. What a game we're seeing from David Lee. Yeah, he's been a revelation here tonight, Clark. Scoring almost at will there in the half. Hard to imagine he'll keep it up for the next two quarters, but you never know. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Well, how about David Lee in this one? He has 14 points, and he's getting it done on the glass, too. Now you're right, Clark. He's done some really nice work inside. Tipping off the second half, here's Tyrone Corbin's spot. Jones is up there with Draymond Green. And there's Kemba Walker. Then it's Ben McLemore. And it's Cousins in a, the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Favors. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. The defense left him just a little window to get through. And he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. Well, Derek Favors still developing offensively. I think he's trying to refine his post game and his shooting touch, but, but the potential is still there. Walker's shot is off. Wow. Utah leading by three. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Ben McLemore. That's his first foul. Lawson dishes to Favors. Here's Burks. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a 
team trying hard to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Martin? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense. That's for sure. Here's Lawson following the basket by DeMarcus Cousins. Burks, the best, the favors. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. It's going to make you earn it from the line. What a game for favors. He's got eight points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. Yeah, he's defending very well, Clark. He's disrupting the, the offense. Uh, he's playing the passing lanes, trying to put as much pressure on as possible. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Walker. Six to shoot. The drive by Cousins. Using his post move to get the two points. Cousins has got eight. Jazz leading by three. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, guys, Quinn Snyder this season taking over as head coach of the Utah Jazz. Snyder said the fit is terrific. He loves player development. Certainly a nice compliment to this young roster. Snyder's road in the coaching ranks has been a winding one. But he said the adversity he's faced has made him a better coach and a better person. Gentlemen. His time has come, Doris. All the makings of a great coach. Thank you. Walker's shot is off. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Here's Burks. Here's Favors. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Green's got his sixth rebound on the night. Walker with it. 11 points in the game. Cousins with it. He's picked up by Whiteside. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Draymond Green last season slimmed down to about 230 pounds. Pretty remarkable how he's transformed his body since his freshman season in Michigan State. And Utah making a change here. Pekovic just checked in. And Green, a combo forward. You know, he's able to play the three or the four, and he's a good rebounder. He's got long arms that help him play effectively against bigger guys, even though he's only about 6'7". There it is, guys, that old lady defense. Just watching him go Clark right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. Dennis Canner's checked in for Utah. Chris Copeland comes in for Harris. Chris And it's Walker penetrating. And the shot falls short this time. And Green, certainly not an elite athlete, Steve, but pretty quick on his feet. Well, he's a jack-of-all-trades, and I think he's been a pleasant surprise defensively. Just his awareness and his energy, they really helped him out a lot. He can guard multiple positions, for sure. The Kings trail by six. Walker in the post. Lawson defending. Now here's McLemore outside. Got a good look, though. I thought that was going to go down. Well, the Dean may have done just enough there, Clark, to bother him and throw that shot off. Kicks it to Lawson. Pass to Copeland. Lock at six. And he gets it to go. And now an eight-point jazz lead. And their lead continues to grow as they keep playing good, sound basketball. Boy, they really have been executing well since halftime. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Well, the Utah Jazz enjoy what has long been considered one of the best home court advantages in the NBA here at Energy Solutions Arena. To combine the altitude with these rowdy fans, tough place to get a road win. A different look for Utah. Green comes in for Alec Burks. And Luke Rittenauer subbed in for Ty Lawson. 
And Abah Mute kicks to Johnson. Looking to end the run. And the shot is good. Pass to Copeland. And Pekovic kicks to Copeland. Pekovic inside. Seraphin's there. And that one's good. Pekovic. Pekovic has got 10. I've really appreciated their activity in the post today. I mean, their movement down low has been great. Yep, ball movement, player movement. They're generating a lot of easy opportunities for themselves down there. Now here's Ennis. Here's Johnson. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Green kicks to Begovic. Right block shot. Sacramento grabs the miss. Serafin's got three rebounds so far in the game. Back to Johnson. Out to the right wing. Sacramento moving it around. Now here's Serafin. He's covered closely. Shot by Ennis. Nobody around. Another three for Sacramento. Now they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? It's stolen by Ennis. Johnson kicks to Ennis. To the wing on the left. And Baamute dishes to Lee. For the tie. Again, Sacramento. This has been a different kind of game here in the second half. I thought both clubs a little slow in the first. No question, but they're really going at it now. The drive by Green. Goble in the best to Ridnour. Deflects the pass. Baamute with the steal. Johnson kicks to Ennis. And it's Chris Copeland with the foul. That's his first foul. That's his first, first foul. Here's Ennis. The feet to lead. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. For Utah, they've gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Copeland dishes to Cantor. Here's Rittenauer. Here's Pekovic. And just miss after miss right now. Sacramento's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Ennis kicks to lead. For the lead. And it's blocked. Now Green. He's got five. He dishes it. To Brooklyn. Another miss by Utah. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. Yeah, not enough defensive coverage there to prevent him from firing that time, but uh, yeah, I think if he's open, he's got to let that thing fly. Shot clock at six. Ennis passes to Johnson. That one a little long. Well, that's an excellent challenge right there. Good job contesting that shot by the defender. Utah calls timeout. Well, Nikola Pekovic, a battering ram style of play, but really soft hands for a big guy. I think that makes that combination makes him one of the most effective inside scorers in the league. For the Jazz. And it's Dang in the corner. Pass to Burks. Back to Lawson. On the wing, Dang. Lee with the block. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And Abamute kicks to Ennis. Looking for Lee, gets it there. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Sacramento. 
So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. And they're getting so much penetration on the defense that they're getting a lot of easy buckets as a result of breaking down that.